Um, my name is Rob Forbes. I'm the brand new DJ 5FM. Just joined now. Our first show is the 2nd of April and I'll be taking over the 9 to 12 slot from Sasha Martinegger. I never wanted to be a broadcaster. I was on the university campus one day and my mom used to do work there. She walked past a poster that said, come and join the student radio station. And I went and applied and I got in initially as a producer. And then I fell in love with the whole sound engineering elements of it. And then that just sort of led its way through to on air and sitting where we are today about to join Five. So how I got onto Five. Um, obviously it's an industry sort of standard when the contract renewal periods are coming up. Um, and I've been looking at Five as an option for a while. And sort of I just got a contact number and I sent the station manager here, Aisha, a demo saying, listen, this is it, this is what's, you know, have a listen, see what you think. And she came back to me and she actually said, oh, it's ironic you should get hold of me. I was about to call you. Why don't you come in for a meeting? And we sat down and had a chat and took it from there. Lucky break comes from time and patience. That's literally it. If you want to get into broadcasting, go to a community station, start there, do your time. There are no shortcuts on how to jump in. You know, nobody goes overnight into somewhere like five. It took me eight and a half years of quietly working every single day just to get into a position where people will take notice of what you're doing. Mm. And it's weird because sometimes you don't know if you're doing a good job or not, mm. but it's up to other people to sort of recognize that. That's where the break comes from. It's not about being pushy. To get into broadcast, there's this idea that you need to do something that radio people do. And ironically enough, nobody wants that in the industry. Gone are the days of having the radio voice. Gone are the days of formatted, you know, presenting styles and so on. You don't need the radio voice. You need to be able to be yourself in a situation that is entirely unnatural. I'd say you taking over from Sasha, I mean, obviously it's huge pressure. I used to do my maths homework listening to Ian and Sasha back in the 90s. You know, they were... He's been there forever, and there's absolutely no chance that I could step in and try and take on Sasha at what Sasha used to do. And I don't want to, because that's not me in terms of personality. So I'm going to come in and do my own thing, and people are either going to love it or hate it. And it's going to take time to come around that this is different, but I mean, you can't replace someone like the Martin Enger with someone trying to be a Martin Enger. That'll just never work. Any advice for the Destiny Man readers? Um, literally, be patient. The world is very instant gratification at the moment, and everyone who gets to the top did not get there quickly. Every industry anywhere in the world, the people who are at the top of the game, the people who've paid their dues and done their time. Knuckle down and work hard, and you will get to the top.